Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited and in this video uh, I will be showing you one practical example of using dynamic array formulas and few days back I just uh, received one of the one query from one of the participants and uh, I, I thought that I would be happy to share this uh, situation with all of my members and the users or viewers on the social media uh, on Excel Basement so uh, he asked about that he has two list of uh, names and he want to extract the common names which are present in both the list and uh, let me tell you first that instead of names uh, this situation might be different for example if you have a CNIC number in the list 1 and list 2 and you need to extract the common CNIC numbers from, from that list you can also apply the same uh, solution which I will be telling you in this video or it can be uh, instead of names it can be a zip codes it can be names of cities it can be name of countries so you have uh, the property of the two columns the nature of two columns is same both have some similar uh, names attributes to it so in this scenario we have uh, names in the list one and in the list two and we want to extract the common names which are presented in both of the list as a separate in a separate column so how we can do that now there are a couple of ways for uh, creating this solution uh, someone might say that instead of extracting the list you can just create a formula uh, select this two list and going to the conditional formatting and then apply a formula to that and uh, the cells will be highlighted which uh, the names which are present in both the list right uh, but what we are required here is we need to extract we need to fetch those common names which are presented in both the list and traditionally if if you don't use microsoft excel newly introduced dynamic array formulas the solution is not yet simple it uh, you need uh, you need to take help of uh, five to six different functions might be or you might need to create some helper columns to that in in order to reach to your goal so by having the dynamic array formulas uh, it's very easy now to uh, solve these kind of complex situation as we are doing in traditionally with, with the older functions so, so as I said in my earlier videos that dynamic array formulas will change everything we are doing with currently with the Microsoft Excel our practices our strategies so now let's quickly come back to uh, the solution part I hope that you have understood the scenario uh, I will be applying the filter function here which is the dynamic array and with that I will be using countif the count is, is available in, in all the previous versions of Microsoft Excel uh, the filter function is, is definitely the dynamic array formulas will be available for Excel 365 users Office 365 subscription start applying the solution equals to filter and in the first function argument uh, this is the array so I will be selecting the list one here okay and what more you can do is you can uh, give this range as a name as a name range okay but here I am just uh, selecting uh, the list manually from A4 to A29 so after selecting the list one comma now in the include function argument we will be including uh, or we will be nesting one function which is count if and uh, using these both function arguments which are, which are the range and the criteria uh, in, in the count if so first in the range of count if I will select the count uh, the, the, the list 2 okay the range of list 2 and comma and the criteria within the function argument of criteria in the count if function I will again select the list 1 and I will close the bracket so as soon as I close the bracket uh, this dynamic array formula created a spill a list of all the common names which are available in the list 1 and list 2 okay so if we can check it manually so for example in the list 2 Ali Murtaza is also presented in the list 1 as well yes here it is right so this was the common name which has been extracted with the help of filter and count if and it's very simple it's very small function um, and traditionally if, if you don't have the dynamic array formulas availability then you need might need be creating a complex solution to that issue we can check another name uh, for example we have Saad Kapadia here so in list 2 he is present 
and let us check that in list one if he is present or not yes here it is right so all the names which were presented in both the list have been now extracted as a separate column so in your case it might be a CNIC number phone numbers uh, the names of the city or any anything uh, which might you like to extract common common from common out of it okay now one more question might be come in your mind that later on that if the name is appearing more than once okay so there is a duplications and we need to extract that common names as a unique list so how we can do that that's again very simple so in this scenario again uh, we have two list which contains names of the webinar attendees and we need to extract the common names which are presented in both the list but this time unique okay so as as a uh, example manually let me highlight one name that Ali Murtaza in the list 2 is appearing two times here okay see this in list 2 uh, it is appearing two times means duplicate okay and in the list 1 uh, Ali Murtaza is present here and also at the end as well here so again duplication so this scenarios might come to you and what you are required is to get one time ex extraction of that common name instead of multiple times so if we go with the previous solution where I applied the filter and count if let's do it first in this way and then I will uh, give you an idea that how we can get the unique common list so if I apply again the filter I will select the list one names comma then I will be adding count if then in the range function argument of count if I will select list two first uh, as a range and criteria as a list one here so that both the list will compare with each other and the common names will be filtered out okay so now you can see that we got the common names list from these two list of names but Ali Murtaza is coming twice here okay and also Moin Khoso is al also appearing two times in the list so as we know that these are appearing multiple times but we need a unique common list so what I will do is at the starting of this solution uh, I will add one more dynamic error formula which is called unique so I will just add unique bracket open and at the end of this formula I will close the bracket that's it and when I press enter now you can see that Ali Murtaza and Moin Koso are coming only one time as a unique but we know that the they are appearing multiple times in both the list so now you will find that how simple and how easy to apply the dynamic array formulas and uh, having your complex query solution very easy in a refined way i hope you like this uh, solution uh, please do share with others thank you